Oh boy, I bring you my next edition of my favorite missions to speedrun. And holy hell, I might just have to make this number one over the Emperor sleeping because we're going for the fucking anti-pope right here. In Did you think that this could be speedrun, or sp I don't even know how to say the past version, speedrun. Is that how you say it? That's great. Alright, um... Objectives. Convert the cathedral. What are our hints? Well, that first part's a lie. We're gonna do something... Alright, now... Just as an FYI, I might save the game once I get to Milan, just to make sure the strategy works, and I would also highly advise you do the same once you employ this strategy. Okay, let's get started. First off, um, change the Carcano to neutral. Alright, now send two of your guys here. You're going to be wanting to convert some of Carcano's guys. And Sorry about this. I'm... I did not mean to do that. Anyway. Alright. Thank God they give you this stuff. It's almost as if they want you to speedrun this. You're going to need redemption because that's the research you need to actually convert this cathedral. Now, this is not actually as far as you'd think. you think this would be really far, but it's not. If you do this the correct way, it's really easy. So. Alright, I think all I need is gold, so we're gonna... And as you can see, the, see, they don't attack you. Alright, so we're gonna need as many soldiers as we can possibly get. Um, this is also a nice tactic. If you do want to build a village, you can just convert some of Carcano's villagers. Um... Makes it quite simple, actually. Alright, a couple of other researches you might want to get. Uh, fervor, which would probably be helpful, so your monks can walk a little bit faster to get to that that monastery. Um, it's up to you if you want to convert that scorpion. Um, I know I'm gonna. Uh, this is also going to be helpful, because we're going to need this transport ship to get our guys across the ocean. Um, this becomes a huge annoyance very quickly. And then he just runs away. Oh. Well, you could convert some of those if you wanted to, but you can't do that. And, yeah. Alright, sweet. That's why converting guys is so awesome. They just take their stupid ships little repercussion. Um, Alright, this gets really fucking annoying, like, really quickly. Alright, now we got all of our upgrades. People need to start getting inside the boats. Uh, it's really not necessary to do this. Can no one get else and get in? Alright, so... What do you want to do for... Alright, nope, stay there, stand your goddamn ground. Now, what are you doing? And I don't really know if it's necessary to have... That... Alright. Your goal is to bring your soldiers to the upper left-hand corner of the map where you're gonna be dropping them off. Uh, the river guards are probably going to attack your base quickly, especially if it's on hard difficulty, so you're going to want to get your guys out of there as quick as possible. Uh, you're not going to need to worry about your base once we do this little strategy of ours. Um, this is where you're going to want to offload them, right here. Be very careful because the river guards have another base right here and they'll attack this ship if, if you're not careful. So the more soldiers we have doing this, the better. And I will show you exactly how this is going to work. Alright, so these guys got 45 hit points, they can walk faster, and they have the upgrade they need to convert the cathedral. Alright, now it's probably preferred that you do this quickly because Milan will advance to the Imperial Age, like, immediately, and once they do that, it's harder because 
They have an archery range right near the cathedral, and they'll start making hand caneers. And it's really tough to convert the monastery with, um... This is actually also helpful. If you, you can change them back to ally, they don't get pissed at you, and you can actually re they reveal the map for you, so you can see exactly where you're going. So, um, it's a little bit risky to move your ship down the river here because they are in control. Um, if you want, you can actually have these guys convert convert him, have more soldiers at your disposal. But regardless, we're gonna move. Follow this little yellow brick road over here. Alright, he's... Alright. Alright, we got him on our side. Cool. More soldiers, the better. Alright, cool. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna save the game once I get to the outer gates of Milan, and I'm gonna show you the strategy that you need to do. Uh, I just wanna make sure I didn't leave anyone. Nope! Alright, that ship can just stand there and do whatever. Again, you don't really need the base once you get over here. All right, so the Teutonic Knights will be your firepower against most of the soldiers because they do insane damage at close range. Now that you have two of them, it should make it easier. Oh, there's a relic right there. All right, here we go. Here, we're at the gates. All right, all right, all right. Hopefully they don't start attacking yet. You're going to want your guys in specific positions over here. This guy, this guy can wait since he's a long-range guy. Uh, Alright, hopefully they don't advance to the fucking Imperial Age. Please don't advance to the Imperial Age. That would really make me sad. Alright, everyone needs to be ready. Alright. Now, it would probably be good to save. This is, <laughs> as you can see, these are all my... I'll just do file. Those are all my save files for my games. Alright, you're gonna want... Alright, before we actually do this strategy, I'll explain. Basically, you're gonna want your knights and your Teutonic knights to attack the, the gates, and Milan will start attacking you with some of their regular soldiers. They don't have anything upgraded. They'll attack you with, like, really basic swordsmen. Once they open the gates for you, have your guys stand in the middle of the gate so that the gate remains open so your guys can just walk on through. Once you do that, have your pikemen and your monks stay together and move towards the cathedral. Have your everyone else, everyone else remaining, move into Milan's base and distract their soldiers. If you can get them to get pissed off at your Teutonic Knights and Knights, they will attack them and they'll ignore these guys. And by the time you move to the cathedral, you'll have already won. So, that's what we're going to do. Let's do it. If we fuck up, we can always just revert. And that's why I told you to save. I don't know what this guy... This guy can just be bait as well, I suppose. Alright, so look, watch. They're gonna send these guys. They suck complete asshole. Moving through. Moving, 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 moving. Alright, they killed them really simply. Alright, he can actually do that. Go kill that. Go kill, go kill, go kill. The forces of Frederick of Barbarossa threaten our city. Send all the available reinforcements. Stay, alright, stay, 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 stay. You. Do not have them attack anything. Alright, they're done, they're done, they're done. They're done. Attack. Alright, my plan is working perfectly. These guys are not attacking my guys at all. Yeah, that's a 
Alright, now he's converting the cathedral. Have your guys can help. The pikemen are excellent against the horses. Not so much against the man at arms, but that's alright. And we did it! We fucking did it! That is how you do it. And look at this, look. Yes, that is how you speedrun this mission. You don't have to worry about any of this shit. That is how you do it. Only 18 guys killed. That is the tactic. See, this is pretty much how you do all of these. It's the live bait tactic. Have a couple of guys distract the soldiers. They freak out, attack the soldiers who are attacking their base from the start. All of those scout cavalry and that army of fucking priests and monks will run away from the cathedral. Go attack you stupidly, and then your monks and your pikemen can move in. And the pikemen, they make so many scout cavalry. I don't know why, but the pikemen are really good against them, so you'll have an easy time. And then once the monk actually starts converting the cathedral, just have your pikemen stand guard next to the monks and distract anyone, and have the, the other two monks, or three monks that you have, uh, convert guys and defend them. And that is really all you got to do, and that's how you speedrun this mission.